Hi, you guys. It's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I have um, a quick happy meal to start the video out with this morning. Uh, Jovi with Creating with Jovi sent me a happy mail and I've seen um, a couple of videos, uh, other people that I watched, she sent um, things out to several people and I just wanted to say thank you and how very sweet. I mean, just she's such a sweet and thoughtful person and um, if you haven't watched her channel, go check it out. I, I'll um, add a link below to one of our videos. She's so upbeat and positive and um, I don't know. She's just a real sweet lady. And so Jovi, I appreciate you so much. And I've, I've looked at everything and my daughter too, we were kind of picking through it. So it's already been opened, um, but she put in the cutest little cards, <clears throat> these vintage little cards, and they're scratch and sniff, but the scratch and sniff part doesn't work anymore, but the cards are just adorable. And um, there's a little, um, let's see, a uh, paper pad page, you know, for journals and stuff like that inside that she poked in. And so then she had in it um, this adorable little stocking and in it, she had poked some things down inside. So there is some fabric bits, some really pretty pansy here. Um, a piece of, it's kind of like a um, canvas almost and with a little bit of a design on it looks sort of like watercolor very pretty some fun vintagey looking um, fabric this really thin um, it's green really thin type fabric it will make just the most amazing you know ruffle on the edge of something so very cool I love this and it won't take up so much space you know since it's uh, so thin and she put in um, some of these like question and answer cards and a stub from a bank. This person had an available balance of $3,400. Let's go shopping. Back in 1983. Um, a cute little yoga pose card and this little uh, journaling tag. I like this and um, I really like that cutout. It's very pretty. I have a few really old Sizzix dies that have some shapes like this and I just forget. I, you know, you forget. And then there was this uh, little Santa hat and up inside was um, some trims. So there's this. Kind of spreads out a little bit like a little sequency trim on there tiny little sequins very pretty and some pretty lace with this really pale kind of a bluish i i my eyes aren't working really well this morning i think it's bluish not greenish i think it's bluish uh, but very pretty and then more of this really nice thin um, fabric that will make such really pretty ruffles. So I'm, I'm excited about those. Makes me want to go to the thrift store. Doggone it. <laughs> Actually, I am planning on going to the thrift store today. I'm starting, um, going to be starting a new journal here. She also put in some book pages. So those will be fun to use on things. Very cute. Jovi, you're just so thoughtful. I mean, really, so thoughtful. And then this pretty piece of pink polka dot fabric. So there we go. So you guys go over, and if you haven't checked Jovi's channel out, go over and check her out. She does um, a little bit of everything. You know, she mostly, I would say it's journal stuff, but, um, or four journals, but she makes lots of tassels and she does craft projects and um, just lots of different things. And she really is a sweetest. She does collage and she's very um, good at that. So anyway, Jovi, thank you so much and Merry Christmas. 
Okay, so what I wanted to get started on today is a journal. I've I've put it off long enough. So I was playing yesterday with some file folders and I wanna try um, something with some file folders. So I cut some things out and I thought I would do another one with you guys today. So to start out with, I just have a couple of um, old file folders and I'm gonna use this chopper because it, you know, cuts through things quick and easy. So I cut it to nine inches. To start out with. Okay, so there's that one. And this one. And I mean, I'm just, I'm cutting off the, the end that doesn't have the tab. A little tab part on it. So there's that. I'm going to set those off to the side for now. I will probably end up using them in the journal somewhere, but I just don't know where at this point. Okay, so let's see. Let's start out with this one. And see what I did here. Okay, so I have the, <laughs> I just have to remember for sure. Okay, so you know how the, the files have these little, you know, little things for, I don't know, it just makes it so that it extends or something when you have stuff in it. Um, this particular one, it's, it's automatic, you know, little fold line is about three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to go with that. So that's where that came from. So I just took that and folded it over. Okay. And then on this side, I'm folding this over to be one, two, three, four, five, five and three quarters of an inch. Um, and I'm doing that so that I have when it's, you know, in the form of a journal, there will be, you know, stuff hanging out. I want to be able to see the stuff. I don't want it hidden back in there. So I'm doing five and three quarters. I'm going to get out my score thingy um, so that the fold, you know, happens really easily. So I'm just putting this fold up into the corner and I'm scoring it at five and three quarters. Okay, and then I'm just folding that over. Okay. Set that to the side for a second. And let me see what I have here. Okay, so then this is what we have. We have, this will be like maybe the front or the back. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, so, you know, journal. With this thin little spine here, it's just three quarters of an inch, okay? But then I want to add another section that will like flip. So what I did was, here's this, you know, same thing. I ended up cutting it. I just cut this part off is all. So I just kind of lined it up and cut the tab. No measuring, you know, I just cut this off. That's all. I have no idea, you guys, if this is going to be great or, you know, hard to work with. I'll figure it out in the end, but um, it's going to be a come along with me to figure it out sort of a thing. I really don't have a solid plan. Okay, so then we're going to score again at five and three quarters. So I'm just, you know, getting my, my fold up into the crease there. 
it is kind of a pain, but I mean, it's, it's very doable, but you know how things go. So we're just doing five and three quarters again. I might have cut this down again. I don't remember. We'll find out. I, I actually, I think I did end up. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. So five and three quarters and that will be the other part of the, you know, so it'll fold here. I'm not sure I'm getting that right. Yep. So it'll be like that. But then I'm going to create another spine. And it's going to be the same size spine. So that other spine is a three-quarter inch spine. So so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. So yeah, I'm just creating another three quarter inch spine. And I think, I think, I hope <laughs> this will make sense in a second. Okay. Okay. And again, I've never done this before, so I'm hoping this works out okay. But if you, if you think about that, like here's the front cover of a journal and you open it, you know, your journal's right here. And you're like, oh, I'm done. And you close it and you're like, oh, look, there's another journal on this side. So that's what I'm going for. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Like I said, we're going to find that out together. So this is from the first file folder. And then from the second file folder that we cut down, we're going to make the piece that would then attach to this to make it the second side of a journal okay so this one is let's see what I did here I'm, I just don't remember so I took this and I cut it okay so I just took it and cut it at the fold um, the, the fold that's already in, you know, the file. So there was no like measurement on this. I just cut it so that the fold was on this, not on this. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure what I did was measure five and three quarters to make my, yes. So we're gonna put this in here and we're going to mark it at five and three quarters. So you guys, I used to teach um, Bible study, uh, the Bible class at church a lot when my kids were younger. Um, unfortunately, one of the struggles <laughs> when it comes to um, Bible classes is that I don't often get teachers to want to teach. <laughs> it's kind of a struggle. Um, I don't know if you are somebody who you know, has gone through that or not, but you know what I'm talking about. Like you have, like, I mean, I, I'm still teaching, but I'm teaching older kids now, but, uh, a lot of times people don't want to teach the young ones. So I, um, I used to keep tons of lessons at the go, at the ready, not at the go, but at the ready so that I had things, you know, on short notice if necessary. Um, but with technology and all that kind of stuff, you don't sort of need all of the copies and all that kind of thing anymore. So I used to have everything in file folders and I just don't really need all of that stuff stored up. It's much quicker, you know, or much easier to come up with a lesson than it used to be. Oh my gosh, I used to spend hours um, researching and, you know, trying to find something 
uh, but now everything's online and it's it's actually pretty easy which is a blessing for sure okay so we have this and it doesn't matter you know which side this is on it you know personal preference okay i hope this makes sense so what i'm gonna do this is the one we just made this is the front cover okay journal flip it over and this thing is sticking up so i want to do and glue it on like this that's what i'm thinking i don't know how well it's going to work you guys but this is what i'm thinking so let's go ahead and glue it um i don't know let's just see <laughs> Yeah, so I taught my kids, like for the whole time, you know, from the time they were babies, you know, and they would just cry all during church. Um, I would take them out and, you know, hang out with them in, um, you know, there's the cry room and then there's also the, there was like a, a classroom. I usually didn't take them to the cry room. I would take them to a classroom and we would hang out in there until they got old enough to kind of sit still for me and be quiet. Okay, so it's gonna be the same. It's the same thing on both sides. Okay, so it opens like this, pocket, journal, and it closes, but then it opens again. So, and I know people have done that, but I've not done one before, so we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this one down. So, um, so yeah, so for, oh, I don't want, I think maybe just in the last three, two or three years, I finally graduated from teaching the really young ones to teaching the teenagers. And I really appreciate that because they have, you know, a lot more ability to think, what's the right word, to think critically about things, you know, like the critical thinking skills that aren't there when they're, when they're really little, you know, but anyway, but it's funny, you know, um, so I get to see the progression and right now, what I've been doing is going through um, the book of Matthew and we've just been reading it verse by verse and answering questions as we go. And there are little light bulbs that come on, you know, and I'm like, oh, I love that. Where they can take what I remember teaching them when they were really little um, and they don't remember the lessons, but I remember. And so they'll be like, oh, I remember this, this story. And then they'll be like, oh, this is, this is it. And that's what they were talking about. And I'm like, yes, yes, it's all coming together. It's very exciting for me. <laughs> so anyway, so here we have two. So it's like this. And then like this. Okay. So then um, I'm not going to glue this down yet, but I was thinking... I've seen this before, people do this on journals where there's kind of like a front flap, you know, like this would be the front cover of the journal. I'm thinking about taking and adding a flap to it. Let me just quickly show you. And I don't want to glue the flap down yet. Let's see, I want it like this. But I just want to show you kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to give it um, maybe, let's see how long I want it to be. Okay. So I'm thinking that I will take this. So imagine it being like all decorated and ruffles and all that, and you don't even realize it. 
and then you untie a bow and this comes loose and you know flip it up and there's something neat underneath it I'm not quite sure and I might do one on the back too I'm not quite sure but I'm thinking that we would do that so on this extra piece that's where I got this and I just kind of centered it ish you know I didn't measure but it is one two three four and a half ish inches if you're interested in measuring okay that's all I have today I think that what I'm gonna do oh I'll show you the papers that I I purchased um pink monarch what is it called pink monarch something I'm terrible with names, you guys. I am bad with names. Pink Monarch Prince, is that what it's called? Um, I will attach below the um, kit so you can check it out if you want. So it's 20 pages. This one is not part of the kit. I took a page and I blew it up. You know, I put it in a Word document and I made it bigger. So that is not part of the kit. And this is my printer ran out of color and I ended up with a black and white page. So anyway, these are parts of the kit. And it's just kind of the same pattern over and over again in different colors and with different kind of like, um, like print on it. So this one's upside down. So like, for instance, this one has handwriting in the background. This one has handwriting. And then there it is without the handwriting. I'm probably going to have to find, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to find another kit that has ephemera that goes with it. This one doesn't have any ephemera, and I, I wish that it did, because uh, it's going to be hard to find something with the same kind of color tones, but we'll see. They're still gorgeous. I really, really think they're pretty. This one has little polka dots on it. I think this would be fun to take it and blow it up too. So, you know, it'd be big polka dots. I think that'd be cute. And I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know, we'll see. This one has in the background kind of um, uh, music. I don't know if you can see that or not. Handwriting, more handwriting, that music page. So it has some background papers, you know, that can be written on, so that's good. So those are the pages in the kit. What I am planning to do with these, um, so they'll be journal pages, but I also want to cover all of this with it. So what I'm thinking to do is take, you know, find ones that I like, and I'm just going to cut them out and cover it, you know, just cover it all. And then after I've covered it, I want to take um, just one of these curtains, you know, that I have found at a thrift store, and I'm going to cover the whole thing in curtain. But... I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know how I'm going to get it all to stick down. There will be sewing involved. And if you think about it, it's going to be kind of difficult, I realize, but it's flexible. So to have like it glued down and, and to sew around here to make sure that the this is sticking down, you know, I'll have to, you know, I don't know, figure it out in the sewing machine. It's going to be a challenge, but I, I think I can do it. And I will also cover this and I was leaving this separate so that it would be less of a challenge and I can just kind of glue that on in the end. One other thing I was thinking that I forgot to say. I want my, um, my spines to be very flexible. And so I'm going to take my scoreboard and I'm just going to score my spine so that it's kind of rounded. So I'll do one with you 
but you know, you guys get the idea. And the, they don't have to be perfect. It's gonna be covered. The whole thing is gonna be covered. But this will just make it um, maybe a little bit easier to bend. And it's it's moving on me, and that's fine. Like I say, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be covered in fabric and all that. So, you know, it's not gonna be holes or anything. I don't feel like I have to reinforce it in any way. I just want it to be bendy soft, pliable, kind of. So, so then it'll, just have lots of little kind of folds in it. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily folding it, but I'm just kind of bending it. Okay, so you get the idea. Kind of rounded now. I will do that on each of the spines. Okay, so that's the start. Alrighty, you guys. I don't know how many videos it'll take to get it all covered. I think I should be able to cut out pages and get them, you know, done and sewn on pretty easily. So maybe just one more video of getting the the cover prepared. Okay. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.